Hi everyone, it's Casey Williams. So I come out of the coffee shop this week and this car is sitting out front. And there's a gentleman standing on the sidewalk and he's looking at the car and I press the button to get inside and he goes, is that your car? And I said, well, it's kind of my car. And he said, where's it from? And I thought maybe he'd seen the license plate. It's got a Michigan license plate on it because it belongs to Fiat Chrysler. And I said, Michigan? And he goes, no, I'm like, where is it built? And, and I realized that he had seen the Alfa Romeo logo on the front and didn't recognize it. And I said, well, it's built in Italy. But it's okay that he didn't recognize it because Alfa Romeo has kind of been here and kind of not here for about 20 years. But they're at back. And this is the car that you're really going to see and the car that you ought to be most excited about when you talk about Alfa Romeo. It's the Giulia Quattrofolio and it's really a lot of fun. Let's go take a look at it. Well, one look, and you know this is not your typical mid-sized Italian sedan. As if there's such a thing as a typical mid-sized Italian sedan. But just look at it. It just looks aggressive, it looks mean, it looks angry. When I had it on the highway this week, people just tend to move right out of the left-hand lane and out of your way. You know, I mean, there's some traditional design cues to it. You have the traditional grill design here, the Alfa Romeo grill. But the things that really step it up, you know, actual heat extractors in the hood. I like the squinty headlamps, again, just gives a very aggressive stance the lower air inlets, and there's a lot of carbon fiber on this car. You can see it in the front splitter, but also the hood, the roof, and the rear spoiler are also carbon fiber. Again, really lightens the car up, maximizes performance. You come around the side of it, again, you see that really lowered stance, looks real aggressive, the door sills down below, a little more carbon fiber on them. The black 19-inch alloy wheels with Pirelli tires on them, of course. Red brake calipers, huge size. It will absolutely stop the car come around the back of the car. Again, you just really see the aggressive stance of the car. And I wish, I wish you could really see the size of the tires because they're about this wide underneath those fenders. So you've got plenty of rubber there to hold the car to the road. The air diffuser in the back, the quad exhaust outlets. Again, the carbon fiber spoiler here. And again, a pretty decent size trunk. Again, this is a car that's designed to be competitive with Mercedes C-Class, BMW 3 Series. So the, the body shell and the trunk are actually pretty roomy for four passengers and their gear. So this is a thing of absolute beauty. It's a 2.9 liter, keep that in mind, 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that delivers 505 horsepower to the rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Paddle shifted if you prefer. That's enough to do zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds top speed of 191 miles per hour. Again, all that carbon fiber certainly lightens up the car and plays in the performance. If you care, fuel economy is 17 miles per gallon in the city, 24 on the highway. So it's actually a pretty decent economy for you know what's really an Italian supercar, if you will. Driving this car, and I'll show you the controls inside, was really a delight. Got it on the highway, it zips from zero to whatever you want to drive faster than any sane person should want to. And, and what's more important, that the, the turbos are really great too. You can step on it 65, 70 miles per hour, and, and it just takes off to about any speed you want to. This has their DNA system on it for the chassis control. Um, it, it changes the changes the suspension, the steering, and the throttle between between comfort and more of a sport mode. They call it DNA, which stands for dynamic, natural, and advanced and advanced efficiency. But it's also kind of cool to call it the DNA system. So you know, the car is just really a joy to drive. Well, welcome to the interior of the Giulia. Again, this is a Quadrifoglio, so it's you know the fully decked out sport version of this car. But the interior is just absolutely beautiful and scrumptious too. You know, the stitch, stitch leather and both in white and green stitching here. The seats, look at the carbon fiber on the seats. The whole back is carbon fiber, the base is carbon fiber. Very nice, keeps the weight low. Carbon fiber here, carbon fiber on the dash. You got leather and suede on the steering wheel, more carbon fiber down below. So you kind of get the idea. There's a lot of leather and carbon fiber in here. But there's also a lot of nice convenience features for the car. I don't love their infotainment system. It looks beautiful, looks like a nice piece of Italian glass that curves around. But you know, Fiat Chrysler and some of their other models has very easy to use infotainment systems. And this is not one of them. It's, it's, it's kind of like Mercedes and Audi and the rest of it, where you got a dial here, control it up there. But it's, it's kind of confusing. We talked about the DNA system, you know, the just the steering, the chassis, the throttle. That's all controlled here. And you know it's really kind of nice. You put it put it in natural mode. It's actually pretty pretty good compliance with the suspension. Nice for everyday use. Um, put it in D, the dynamic mode, and it'll about shake your teeth out, which is fine because it's designed for tracks and not for city streets. And then of course the advanced fuel economy allows you to maximize efficiency for the car. That's all nice. Dual zone automatic climate control. 
900 watts of Harman Kardon audio system. That's, uh, that sounds just absolutely beautiful on the road. And some other features the car has, it's got forward collision alert system, it's got lane keep, you know, lane, lane departure warning system on it, and a uh, rear camera as well. And the nice thing about this car is, you know, again, it's basically almost a mid-sized car, you know, competitive with other German and European cars. And the interior is actually fairly roomy. The seats, the seats are pretty stiff, they're supposed to be, but they're not uncomfortable. And the rear seat actually has enough leg room that you can get a couple people in for a short drive. I think it's pretty cool that Alfa Romeo is really bringing a car like this to the U.S. It is a pure blood Italian sports sedan with plenty of power and using some innovation to get performance out of the car. A small engine with lots of horsepower, the twin turbos, lightweighting it with carbon fiber, and it's just really a delightful car to drive. There is a big downside to this car though. Base price is $73,700. This one has equipped $89,845. Spending almost $90,000 for, for an Italian car is a lot, unless it has a Ferrari badge or a Lamborghini badge or some others on the front of it. But if you have the $90,000 and you drove this car, I think you'd enjoy having it. Well, next week we'll have another fun car, and until then, storm forward.